Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tom Mason here and I'm at the Bird Fair with the Nikon team. Uh, and it's actually the first time that I've got the entire Nikon range of binoculars in front of me and I thought it was a good chance to answer some of the questions we've been getting over the weekend here about the differences between the binoculars and some of the ideas of what you might look to pick up uh, for your own needs. Now, in front of me, the full range, we've got the Pro Staff, P3s, P7s, the Monarch M5s, the M7s, and then we've got the uh, M7 Plus and then the uh, Monarch HGs. Now, the Pro Staffs, the brand new Pro Staffs, the P3s and the P7s, I got out in the field with these recently. It's fantastic testing them out, especially as an entry level binocular. They have really top class optics, really good viewing experience. Um, they're ruggedized, you know, excellent for working in the field. Um, and I think for the price point that's between £150 to uh, the kind of like £250 mark, they really are an exceptional kit. One of the kind of standout differences between the P3 and the P7 is the fact that on the P7, um, you have the really nice locking diopter. Excellent if it's getting knocked about and things like that. It's really fantastic to have. Um, and I think as kind of a usability feature, it really is certainly nice to see that at that price point on the binoculars. Now moving up from the Pro Staffs to the Monarchs, the kind of the differentiation of feature here is that we've got the ED glass with the Monarch M5s and M7s. Um, the ED glass is fantastic at correcting uh, chromatic aberrations, things like that. It's going to give you higher image quality um, and just really good field viewing experience. Um, the M5s come in 42mm, uh, um, in the 8x and the 10x, and then the, um, the M7s come in both the 30mm and the 42mm, that's really nice. Um, the M7s have a wider field of view than the Monarch M5s. Uh, that's nice for just, you know, capturing more of what you're looking at. And of course, they also have the locking diopter that the M5s lack. Um, of course, the price difference is there between the two. And these are kind of your mid-range, kind of 400 pound models. Um, and they're really excellent um, if you're kind of all day bird watching or anything like that. Now, moving up from the M7s, we're going to go to the M7 Plus quickly. Um, now, one of the differentiating features between the M7s and the M7 Plus is the field flattener. Now, this has been brought down from the Monarch HGs. Um, these only are available in the 8 by 30 mil. Um, that's absolutely excellent. And they're built of a polycarbonate, uh, really good feel when you're out working in the field. Now, the Monarch HGs are the top line uh, of the range. Um, these are built with a magnesium chassis. Um, they've also got um, kind of additional coatings to the lenses. You've still got the cracking ED glass um, from the Monarch series, but now you've got scratch resistance coatings and everything like that, um, and they're really premium filled. I mean, I have been using my Monarch HGs for about six years now. They've been all over the world and have done absolutely fantastically. They're a great viewing experience, and I think they really just make wildlife watching in general very nice. Now, in terms of where you might be purchasing, I think if you're at the entry level price point, the Pro Staffs are fantastic. You're really gonna love them. And I think at the price point here, it's hard to find a binocular much better than this. Um, the kind of mid range is great for the all day bird watcher. Um, you want the ED glass for the extra kind of load of dispersion and the reduction in chromatic aberration. Very useful if you're looking at bright subjects and when you're like kind of backlit shots. Whereas um, the um, M7 Plus is, um, would kind of be one of my recommendations for photographers as well with a field flattener, gives you that more look that you get with your camera lenses. It's also important to think about the magnification that you have with the binocular. Um, for me personally, as a photographer, I use a 300 mil or a 400 mil lens. Uh, and for that, I think an eight by is a really great choice. Gives me a natural field of view that's very similar uh, and helps me kind of create my compositions when I'm out in the field. If you work with something more like an 800, for example, um, or a you know, 600 mil, then a 10 by optic can be really nice just to give you that kind of more impression of what you'll be looking at through your um, photographic lenses um, that again is just ideal for scouting out places and getting you into the right spot. No matter what you choose, I mean the Nikon glass is fantastic, backed by a great warranty and there pretty much is something for everyone. I just thought as I was at the bird fair, it was a great chance to go through the whole range and answer some of the questions uh, that we've been getting uh, over the last few days at the fair and hopefully that will help a couple of you out.